and welcome to Black and Gold Today. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The Saints have an off day with about a week complete at training camp, so joining me from West Virginia for the first time is Saints beat writer Katherine Terrell. Hey Katherine. Hey Rachel, uh, finally, finally in West Virginia. Uh, it was a few days late, but um, yeah, first practice yesterday. Uh, Excited to finally be here. Right. And yeah, so Tuesday was your first day up in the crisp mountain state. And we've been watching receiver Brandon Cooks doing it all so far with some screen pass action, too. So has he stood out to you the most in camp? Um, I, I really think so. Uh, he's kind of exactly as advertised. There's so much hype surrounding this guy and people are so excited about him but I think that it's for good reason I was watching him return punts and just you know making a lot of different plays that kind of showcase his speed they had a, a great play maybe the play of the day uh, that you know he, he caught a screen uh, I think it was maybe Armstead that opened up a hole for him uh, he just kind of shot right through it and ran for what would have been a touchdown so I mean, I think the potential is there for this player and, you know, fans are going to be really excited when they finally get a chance to see him actually on the field for a game. Right, exactly. And how's his chemistry with Drew Brees? You feel like he's just one of their other receivers? Um, well, he went to San Diego for a few weeks to kind of catch up with Breeze and get up to speed. So I've been, they've been working together a lot, and I think that that's going to help. You know, obviously Cooks missed OTAs, and you know, for a young player, that's always an issue. But I think that they're just going to keep getting more in sync as training camp goes along. You know, there's always kinks to be worked out, but I wouldn't worry too much about the fact that he missed the first part of the summer. Right now, it's all about training camp, and in just uh, just under two weeks, actually, is that first preseason game. So we've got a lot more crazy. to talk about. <laughs> yeah, the Saints are back on the field, nice and bright and early on Thursday. So, Catherine, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Rachel. Now, a Saints trivia reminder. We'll end fast with one more look at this week's question. We asked. Looking ahead to the 2014 season, the Saints can pull ahead in the all-time regular season series against which teams? And there are actually three teams, so send two of them to rwhitaker at nola.com for a chance to win a prize on Friday's show. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.